If you look at Battlebit Remastered and where it is today versus where it was at launch, it's a pretty big difference. I mean, sure, it still looks like Battlebit at a glance, but when you get into those details, healing mechanics have been changed, balance across the board is widely different, visually it still receives some touch-ups, and the maps that we play on today are vastly different to what they were a while back. And there's plenty more where that came from. But one of the biggest differences that I've been noticing as of late is how the majority of the community appear to be approaching the game and how that's affecting the experience. Now, that's very open-ended, so let's dive into that a bit. G'day there once again viewers, your mate Kamikaze78 here, and today I want to ask one simple question. Has Battlebit become yeah, yeah, too sweaty? Yeah. So, the big question, why this video and why now? It's something that we've been hearing a lot about in the online forums of Battlebit, at least as of late. Whether that be in the game's subreddit, the Discord server, or even the comments section of my own videos here, there's been a lot of complaints as of late that the sweats, quote-unquote, have taken over and made this game less enjoyable to play. And it's a conversation I think is well worth having, because that very discussion in the online forums may very well deter new players from coming to the game as they do their research on the game, and how it's doing from a community perspective. Battlebit on the surface is a game that has this very casual FPS perception to it, you know? Obviously the graphics are going to play a factor there, but it's a game that focuses on play interactions through VoIP chat, gives players a sandbox to do creative and wacky things with the destruction, and is just a somewhat easy to pick up and understand what is going on, mechanically sound first person shooter game. At least that's how it seems to market itself. So obviously if you load in and it's just a sweat fest 24-7, then there's going to be a sense of disconnect to what the game looks like it should be versus what it actually is. And when you jump into the game today, almost a year now after its official launch into early access, the vibe has very much changed since launch in a way that that disconnect seems to be coming alive, if you will. The proximity VoIP chat is dead in this game. Those goofy moments that you would catch every match with teammates and enemies are just frankly non-existent these days, at least in the OCE and Southeast Asia regions, to me at least. And on top of that, it almost feels like you're running into far more players who move and play like absolute gigachads. Players that are dropping crazy KDRs, insane movement tech, and just seem to never die when you shoot at them due to their crazy movement. And before I go any further here, I just want to make this abundantly friggin' clear. I don't don't say this to vilify the high skill player here. You know, as someone who attempts to do this stuff myself, and I'm by no means a top tier player, I'm just someone who tries to be. I'm basically three average players in a trench coat pretending to be a top tier player. But ultimately, I have respect for these players and their craft. Expressions of skill in any game like this are very important to fostering a healthy community and offering players a means to master their craft and continue to feel like they're getting better at the game. It's what keeps people around. But I also acknowledge that smaller, more tight knit communities that focus on player versus player games games, like Battlebit, are always going to run into a single common issue, a deterrent, if you will, to keeping new players coming to the door. It's something that we've seen in the gaming space plenty of times. Even in my own personal circle, I saw it with Planet Side 2. And it speaks to how the barrier to entry to get into these games gets worse over time. That being how your dilution of encounters with high skill players changes over the course of the game's lifespan to make it feel like it's a more sweaty game. Allow me to explain here. Obviously, the dedicated community are going to be the ones that are playing your game on the regular. You know, these are the guys that have got the most exposure to the game. They read all the weapon reviews and guides and all that fun stuff. They are obviously going to be of higher or intending to reach a higher skill level relative to that of the more casual player. So when a new or casual player decides to check the game out or come back after, you know, a bit of a hiatus, they are greeted by a somewhat healthy community. Yes, but it's one that has intrinsically, through their own commitment to the game they are playing, risen the skill gap and the barrier of entry to do well in said game by the means of their own commitment. Over time, for the most part, these players will become better on average, which makes the majority of the experiences in the game harder for newer players to overcome because they are dealing with a much higher skill player base. 
When the game first launched into early access back in July last year, there were a lot of players in this game, upwards of potentially 80,000 concurrent players at one time, some of which have been around since the early days of testing. So yes, there were high skilled players in the pool at that time. There were sweats at the time and they were dropping kill records left and right. It was incredible to watch these guys work. I still remember seeing the likes of Snoozen dropping 300 plus kill games and just being in absolute awe over what I had seen. But despite the presence of these high skill players at the time, there was a far greater range of skill among the player base in the game because of how popular the game was. Servers were plentiful with about 10 to 20 full servers being available in each region. And there was enough cannon fodder, I'm gonna say, sorry, I don't mean that in a rude way, but it's true, to dilute how often you would come across an overly sweaty player, someone in the top percentile. They were a one in 1000 player. And you know, between all the servers, they would be diluted amongst the player base to make that occurrence feel less common. But now, by comparison, they feel like a 1 in 50 player, which obviously means you're going to be coming across them far more often, which makes the game feel overtly sweaty. Through a lack of players, the concentration of sweatier players grows. And because of that, I wouldn't say the game has been taken over per se by the sweats. It's just the core community of the game sticking around, getting better at the game as they continue to play it, slowly rising that average skill, and therefore, to a certain extent, rising that barrier of entry to get into the game and making it feel harder to do well in. It's really not a case of the developers catering the game to sweats or doing anything that, you know, makes the game feel more competitive, at least in the more traditional term in nature. It's just a matter of how the community has evolved since the game has come out and how that dilution of players has drop down a bit. And obviously, as we've seen in the online discussion around the game as of late, this is going to have ongoing long-standing impacts to how the game is played and how it feels to play. It's the catalyst for this whole conversation today and may in part be a reason as to why so many players who took a break from the game are struggling to return to Battlebit now. I have multiple friends in my friendship circles who refuse to come back to the game on the basis that they say it's not like what it used to be. And they're kind of right in a way. I really, really can't blame them because you know, they get destroyed 24-7 by people who've been playing the game far more often than them. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. That's exactly what should be happening because, you know, that's how skill works in video games and exactly how things should be playing out, all things considered. But I also acknowledge it's no fun to be smacked constantly by the same sweat over and over again with no feeling of being able to come out on top. When we had a player base that was massive, there were so many people of varying skill levels that it always felt like there was at least some smaller steps up the food chain for you to conquer. But now that step up the food chain to go from brand new player to sweat feels like you need to hoist yourself up a rock face wall without a harness on. It can feel like a daunting task. So the game obviously doesn't feel the same to a lot of people nowadays. The shooting mechanics and the quality hasn't necessarily changed. This is still a good, large-scale, chaotic shooter game that, in my opinion, puts the likes of Battlefield to shame from a quality perspective to this day. But with now how little the high-skill players are being diluted across the active community, you very much feel like you're going to be punching upwards unless you've played this game a lot up until now. The community obviously wants the game to see that kickback in popularity, especially with the upcoming audio update, but this will be a hurdle that will need to cross to get over that line there. As I said before, I don't think the game has overly been catered to by the sweat by any degree. There are just mechanics out there that allow highly skilled players to leverage to get better at the game and to gain an edge. There's nothing wrong with that at all, and I don't agree with the notion of nerfing high skill gameplay as a means to bring players back. This will only isolate and hurt the existing community and drive the game into an absolute ditch. So it's a bit of a conundrum that I don't necessarily have the answer to here. And I'm keen to hear your thoughts in the comments down below as well. But ultimately, I don't think Battlebit is a quote unquote sweaty game by any stretch of the imagination. We're just going through the very motions that I've seen before with other PVP first person shooter games that have small core communities where players come to every once in a while and feel, isolated because, well, there's such a huge skill gap through established communities getting better at the game over time. The one way the community can always help is to obviously, you know, teach these new players as they come through the door. And obviously, I'm not saying that you need to, you know, send a message to every single brand newbie you come across in the game. I get that sometimes we all just want to turn our brain off and shoot stuff without having to worry about the impacts of our actions. That's what first-person shooter games are great for. But if you see someone asking for help, maybe link them a guide on YouTube or something, or give them a gun recommendation that they can aim for, 
some builds, so on and so forth. That is to me the best thing that we can do in this established community, to try and help new players on their way to feel welcomed and to, you know, start getting some skills to feel more competitive in this game. Again, this is a problem that every slightly more mature gaming community in a PvP space is always going to face. That skill dispersion and how new players tackle dealing with that and climbing up the ladder. And ultimately, it is up to us, the community, to try and close that gap. But I really wanted to get this video out there to have that conversation and to clear some of the air around, you know, battle bit being built only for sweaty players. It most certainly can be fun for a wide variety of people. It's just worth building out that slight disclaim, if you will, as to how the community has matured their skills and what new players should be expecting when they jump into the game today. But folks, with all of that said, that is gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, a slightly more discussion-based one, and I hope to see you guys all joining the conversation in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here to stay up to date with all future video uploads. We've got a lot of exciting things coming. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and until next time, peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.